In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create an announcements page for your class website. Now you can use these for a lot of different things. One of them is for basic announcements, but you could also use them for theme, things like a word of the week or a student of the month or something like that. So it kind of keeps a running um, page, kind of like a blog, of what's going on in your class. And so you can use it for a lot of different things. I'm just going to create a basic announcements page right now. So just like we did for the instructor info page, I'm going to go up here to new page and click on that icon. This one I'm just going to call announcements. Now be really careful with your spelling. We don't want to have a web page that has a bunch of spelling errors. So really be careful. This is your um, kind of professional public presence for your students and their parents. So keep it clean. All right, so the difference here, we've named our page announcements. We're going to select a template to use on this one. So instead of a basic web page, which is what we've done the last two times, we're going to choose an announcements page. And that'll allow us to have that kind of running stream of what's going on in the class. I'm going to keep it at the top level, and I'm going to click Create. Now, you can already see that this page looks different. Okay, so what we've done is basically created a shell page and then each time we create a new post or a new announcement, it'll create a little sub page of the announcements area and those will gradually be added on. So I'll show you how this works. I'll do new post here and then I'll say something like uh, salsa dance exclamation mark our salsa dance is coming up on Friday. Hope you have invited some friends to come along. Okay, so we put in whatever our announcement's going to be. I'm just asking that you have them be relevant to your class or your subject area, whatever you're doing. Um, because we really do want to practice what this would look like and how we're going to use this in our classroom. So try to keep it relevant. Now notice you can add files so you could upload attachments that go along with this. If there's a permission slip that your students need to have signed or something to that effect, then you could add that here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and save this. You can save a draft on this too, which is really nice. So you could craft the announcement in advance, but not post it until a certain time. All right, then I'm going to save that. And now I've got this weird little thing going on. I've got announcements and then a little, little carrot symbol, salsa dance. This is called a breadcrumb. It's showing us where we came from. So what's really happened here is that we have a sub page of announcements that's called salsa dance. So if I click back on announcements, that was our main page, you can see that announcement right there. Now if I add a new post, And this one might be exam on Tuesday. Our unit exam will be in class on Tuesday. Bring your brains and save it. There's our breadcrumbs again. And we'll click back to announcements. And you can see that my salsa dance announcement was pushed down and the exam announcement is now on top. So it's going to have the most recent post at the top. Now this subscribe to posts area or link allows people to um, subscribe to the RSS feed. I know, technical terms. What that means is that they could uh, basically receive a notification every time you add an announcement to that. So some of your students may choose to do that if they're into RSS feeds or have a reader of some kind. So, you're going to keep going on this. You're going to make three more announcements for a total of five. And that's it. You're done. Okay, so by the time you're done with this assignment, you should have your site set up with a home page, the instructor info page, and an announcements page with five announcements. You can, by the way, add, if I go into new post here, um, you can add all the same stuff in your announcements, videos, images, etc. So feel free to be creative. All right, that's it for the announcements page and for part one.